All right, guys, what is up? This is going to be my 12.11 jungle patch tier list. So this is the patch with Belbit and all those other durability changes in it. And I just took a good amount of time really just looking at win rates, stats, my experience with just playing the game itself and like what I think is strong, not just in high elo, but like in general, what I feel like is the best champions right now. So for start, for starters, let's start at the very top. It's top to bot, best to worst, SS plus. SS plus is the greatest of them all. The champions that I think are the most disgusting to play that I think generally win the most games on average. And that's Rek'Sai, Wukong, and Volibear. These are my top three picks right now on the patch. I think they're the great junglers. Of course, Rek'Sai, bit of a bias on my part. But I do think Rek'Sai, the queen, is the greatest jungler in the world. Not only do the stats back it up, but if you play her to a certain degree, a certain level, you can literally destroy the early game, control the game so well, snowball. Her E true damage actually made it so she didn't really get affected by the durability change compared to other champions who don't have that kind of like high amount of true damage built in their kit. So great champion because of the durability change. Great pickup if you want to learn how to main her. Also for... For second is Wukong. Wukong, I mean, he's he's just the monkey king. Remember on our last preview, I told you guys Wukong was going to be broken. He's still broken. Even after the minor nerf, because the durability patch synced so well with him, Divine Sunder being such a great item on Wukong, he's still an S+. Plus, he's still top tier best jungler on average, and I think he's a great pickup if you're still trying to learn him. He might get nerfed in the future, but, you know, he's still quite a good champion. Second top tier jungler, Volibear. Volibear has always been on my tier list as an easy jungler to play that I think always excels in solo queue. And I still think he's extremely strong. I think he's one of the best to pick up. I always recommend people to play Volibear. And he's top tier right now. Durability change didn't really affect him as much. Q max when you play Volibear, that's the trick if you really want to win on him. And you're going to have a great time playing with the new Ken tank and all those other items. Next is the question mark. Question mark. So Velvet, she's a mystery. The Void Queen herself. Do we know how strong is he? How OP is she? Her win rate was 38% at the beginning. But now it's skyrocketed up to 46%. So in my personal opinion, I think she's top tier, but not giga broken. I think she's OP and people just have to really understand how to play her and to really utilize like her assets, which is all those kind of like crazy passive abilities she has in her kit. On top of that, her build paths are really awkward. No one really knows how to build her. Personally, I think you just go crit Shielba or Kraken Slayer into like a blade into death stance with Zen on hit was Rage Blade. I think these items are the best on her. Or you can go into like more of the tanky route where you could just rush blade the Rune King, go into like Frostfire, Titanic Hydra, these kind of items. These are the items I think are great on her. I think she is going to be either going to get buffed or she's going to be a top tier jungle. So I recommend trying her out and just make sure you max Q and E first when you play Velvet. Second, let's go on to like the more general categories. So S plus Viego generally doesn't have the highest win rate to showcase these S plus. But personally, from playing him and playing against him, I think Viego's top tier. He's just really annoying in the durability change. Did benefit him a lot, so Viego's still top tier jungler. For the next AD one, Kha'Zix. I still think Kha'Zix is fundamentally really annoying. The, the new go build, like Gordrinker builds, or not Gordrinker, but the Bruiser builds have been really annoying. And on top of that, he still excels really well in solo queue. So he's still a top tier jungler that can cause a lot of problems to a lot of champions. Next two that are kind of surprising that are top tier that I think, well, Nunu did recently get buffed. Zach has always been kind of top tier ish, but now he's actually really over the edge because it's been a lot harder to punish early game champions. So Zach has been getting kind of like a great early game because of the durability changes. Plus, early game has been kind of slowing down a bit. So it's been benefiting Zach a lot. And he just scales like a goddamn monster. Zach's like actually a great champion to pick up. If you're not down for the easy Volley Bear, I recommend either playing Zach or Nunu. And talking about Nunu, he did get his E cooldown buffed. And I, I do think he's he's quite strong. So I recommend also trying him out if you're like into those kind of easier tankier junglers. So these are like the S plus junglers. I think they're great. These are more of like your general category ones. Right underneath we have S plus AP. So the AP ones, Diana, Gragas, Elise. These are the ones that I think, well... What I like as AP junglers the most, I think these three are actually very, very strong. I think Gragas is just super strong after the buffs. I think Elise is quite nice with Night Harvester, and I also think Diana is really nice with Night Harvester. So I think these items getting buffed and the champion itself really put these three at the top tier of the AP jungle category. You may disagree, you may agree, but the difference between S plus AP to like A plus AP isn't that great. 
different. So like, I think all AP junglers are relatively close, but I think these three are what really excel. Diana, especially still being as OP as she is. So definitely good pickup. A plus category. These are more average junglers that are strong. Zin Zhao got buffed, so I put him on the list because I had a couple games where I had a really, really great time on him. So I think he's not that bad. Your general champs, Kane. Kane got his red form nerfed a bit. I think he's super strong, but I don't think he's S plus category. I, I still think on general he's he does have weaknesses and he struggles a lot. Same was Kindred Graves. You know, these champs, they were a lot stronger before. But in the right hands, of course, they can definitely decimate an enemy team. But on average, I don't feel as, you know, worried playing against these champions. Lee Sin, he did get his Q buff, so he's actually okay. I think he rises a bit in the matches because durability change does kind of... And, you know, it does favor him in some situations, so it's not terrible for him. Rengar, he got nerfed quite a lot, but I still think he's A+. He was super broken before, but durability changed. There was a new Bruiser build that made him really cool, but... After the nerfs, I think he kind of settled down a bit, but he's still a good jungler to play if you really enjoy that kind of champions. All right, guys, AP. AP junglers. These are like more average ones, but honestly, on a good day, these junglers can all be S plus AP junglers. I just think that's how like the barrier is between them. They're just qu quite close, and I think Night Harvester is really great. I'm so some of these junglers that are going Night Harvester definitely can excel really hard at them. You know, Echo Leo, Lilia, Shivana, these junglers are great telia even after the nerfs i honestly was gonna put her s plus but because i'm just so good at telia it just felt like i was playing her so well maybe the champion itself wasn't super broken but just because i was playing her so well felt like an s play plus ap jungler but i still think telia is a great jungler i think all these ap junglers are perfectly fine to play if you want to and you know same thing was the a plus junglers i think they're all great to play if you want to lastly the bottom tier list and you know just by the title uh these psycho champions are not meant to be played all of these i just think they're psychotic i mean you just don't want to touch them you want to stay away from them be careful protect yourself protect your wife your children whatever you can from these junglers because these are just completely forgotten especially master g god damn we're not going to be touching that champion for a very long time and yeah that's my list some champions might not be there just because your champion's not there doesn't mean it's bad or necessarily terrible it just means i didn't add it to my tier list there's too many champions in the game to add them all, but this is just the general champions I wanted to add that I felt like were really popular in the games right now, especially the games that I've been playing. So anything like you guys, like I was talking about earlier, if you guys were interested in champions to pick up that are easy and strong, Zach, Volibear at number one, Zach, Nunu, great champions to pick up, easy champions to pick up, and they're all really, really great. Also, Viego's always you know, kind of doing well in the meta. So hope you guys like that video. This is going to be my jungle tier list for my YouTube. Um, Let me know what you guys think. I might be doing other tier lists in the future. They, they do take a little bit of time, but if you guys have any general ideas of like what tier lists you guys want, I'll definitely be down to do them too. So just let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care.